Um, the White House is bouldering. Let's get to student loan debt. Okay, before we get to... Before we get to Mark Zuckerberg on the Joe Rogan experience, let's talk about student loan debt. 10000 Beep, beep, poof. As long as you're making $125,000 or less, $10,000 of those student loan debt is gone, baby. Uh, 20000 if you got Pell Grants. And guess what? The White House is shitposting. And they are, I'll, I'll allow it. They're allowed to do this. They are allowed to do this. Uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene had some choice words on Newsmax about the uh, debt forgiveness. But for, for our government just to say, you know, okay, well, your debt is completely forgiven. Obviously, they have an agenda for that. They need votes in November. Yeah, exactly. So what? I don't understand why this is a diss. I don't understand why this is a diss. This is not a diss. I hope that Americans are not so fundamentally brain broken that they go, oh, the government is doing a good thing for me. They must be doing it for my votes. It's like, yeah, no shit. That's precisely what they're fucking doing, dumbass. That's how politics works. Americans have lost touch with the reality that uh, that is how it's supposed to work. They're so brain broken into believing that like the government is never supposed to work for them only for the corporations of the wealthy that like the first time they do something they're like republicans openly state that this is called bribery okay yeah so the timing is a pure coincidence there as well but it's completely unfair and taxpayers all over the country taxpayers that never took out a student loan taxpayers that pay their bills and 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 you know maybe even never went to college or just hard-working people they shouldn't have to pay off the great that's not how this is working my man my lady that's not how that works is debt that the government owns anyway shut the fuck up the only people that can complain about this are people who are like fuck i didn't go to college because like i didn't have enough uh money and maybe if I had like 10,000 or 20,000 in student loans that I could take out, that would have helped me. You know what I mean? Big student loan debt for, for some college student that piled up massive debt going to some Ivy League school. That's not fair. He's wrong, but for, for our government just to say, you know, okay, well, your debt is completely forgiven. Obviously, they have an agenda for that. They need votes in November. So the timing is a pure coincidence there as well. But it's completely unfair. It's unfair. Fucking barrel tighten in the wild. And the White House came back and popped off. Said Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene had $183,504 in PPP loans forgiven. Oh, my God. Look at this thread. Oh, my God. They're going after everybody. Oh, that's so good. A lot of families in our region, they've been talking about forgiveness of loans for the last four or five months are very, very upset. Many of them work two jobs to be able to put their kids through college and then th to think that the, a lot of these loans are going to be forgiven is wrong. And they're very outraged about it. And they because they, these folks paid up. They they took care of their obligation. Yeah, they took care of their things. obligation with their children. They felt like they did the right thing. Many of them working an extra job to be able to do that. And now they just feel outraged about where this is going. And this is not something the last couple of weeks. This has been going on for the last year, six months. They've been talking about. Boom. Uh, link to the thread. I already retweeted it. Congressman Vern Buchanan had uh, $2.3 million in PPP loans forgiven. Mark Wayne Mullen says, we do not need farmers and ranchers, small business owners and teachers in Oklahoma paying the debts of Ivy League lawyers and doctors across the U.S. This place is undue burden on those already suffering due to the weight of Biden's failed economic policy. Congressman Mark Wayne Mullen had over $1.4 million in PPP loans forgiven. Representative Kevin Hearn, to recap, in the last two weeks, the party of the people has supercharged the IRS to go after working class Americans, raise their taxes and force them to pay other people's college degrees. Congressman Kevin Hearn had over $1 million in PPP loans forgiven. This is great keep this shit up keep this shit up this is good policy followed by good politics okay keep this energy going turns out when you do nice things okay turns out when you actually do what you're fucking supposed to do which is help out the american people even with crumbs in comparison to what you could do which is a lot more your approval rating jumps to 44 percent in a new gallup poll 
Biden's approval rating was so low. It was lower than Donald Trump. Why? Because Donald Trump always maintained 90% support in the Republican Party. A thing that I brought up so many times throughout his presidency, and every time I brought it up, you would have liberals go, Oh, what? Doi? Brandon's approval rating was lower than Donald Trump's because Republicans already despised him, as they would normally. Okay? But liberals hated him too. Liberals fucking hated him. Because he wasn't doing shit. And then this is all it takes, a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a fucking crumb. Oh, but those polls didn't matter to moderates when they were down. Line goes up. It's legit. Line goes down. It's just a poll. Who cares? No, of course they fucking... Of course, of course, uh, it, it was bad. It was really bad. Part of the reason why they did this is because it was bad. You know? You know who this helps? Teachers with student debt? Yeah. He completely ignored private loans, which is a real killer with interest as well. Yeah, there's more to accomplish in that situation, but, you know, there's a lot of people. It is bribery. The timing reveals why they're doing it. They're relying on short-term memory to make people forget about their awful administration. Wait, what do you mean? It, it, yeah. Bitch, what are you talking about? It's bribery. Yeah. Imagine if they did it more frequently, then you wouldn't say they're awful. You would not even say their administration is awful. If they bribed you further, you'd be like, okay, great. That's what it is. That's what's supposed to happen. That's politics, man. Why are Americans so fucking fundamentally brain broken that you think like popular policies are somehow icky and wrong and bad? Stop. Stop. It's so wild that there are people who unironically toe that line that legitimately think that there is something fucking fundamentally wrong with doing good things that you promised you would do that helped you get elected to a certain degree. What the fuck? Stop it. I talked about this back in fucking April when Mitt Romney originally popped off. It's only a moral hazard if we're doing debt relief for, working, for the working poor. It's never a moral hazard if taxpayer-funded bailout packages are built into the risk mitigation of mega corporations currently engaging in stock buybacks. Popular policy to win voters isn't bribery. It's your job. You do it for big corporations, the wealthy, every single day. Republicans and Democrats both. But the moment is for the working poor. They can't comprehend it. They're like, that's not allowed. That's, that's bribery. That's fucked up. And it's because American consciousness is so fundamentally broken from political inaction. So fundamentally brain broken from political inaction that when, the, when politicians actually do something, you're like, wait, that sounds wrong. That sounds so wrong. Dog, that's the point. That's literally, that's what politics is. Stop. Stop falling into reactionary framing. <sighs> in discussions of reducing car dependency, one often hears, what about the people in remote rural areas? My gut instinct is people shouldn't be living there in the first place. This guy's crazy. The solution is to give them generous grants to relocate among other humans. That's fucking psychotic, dude. What the fuck? Dude, I don't want to hear from like, I don't want to hear from neoliberal uh, the weirdos that want to like literally cleanse, ethnically cleanse the fucking rural uh, uh, people living in like uh, rural areas, okay? That's so insane. But what if they like living in remote rural areas? Sorry, you can't always get what you want. A lot of people would like to live in dense transit rich settings, but can't. Either because they can't afford it or simply doesn't exist where there are. And if this sounds harsh, okay, I don't want to even read this, dude. Funko Pop motherfucker. I don't want to hear that. I don't want to see that. I don't want to hear that. Don't send me fucking 
disgusting neoliberal tweets, okay? The disdain they have for the working poor is apparent, okay? They feel as though, like, you know, everyone needs to live on top of one another in fucking big cities. It's the classic soy-facing Matt Iglesias, one billion Americans, soy, bad chest take. I hate fucking weird neoliberal urbanists, dude. Oh my God. How about building fucking mass transit to rural areas too? No, God forbid. You have to forcibly relocate them. You know, famously, these uh, social democracies that they look up to, regardless of their neoliberal Austrian uh, economist values that they don't even fucking abide by, those places famously do not have anything other than urban sprawl. They do not have, uh, you know, rural areas with adequate public transit. Motherfuckers want to talk about Germany and, and the Netherlands and shit without ever, without ever recognizing some of the things that those governments offer to its people. Nobody wants to live on top of your ass, dude. In Germany, the regional trains stop like every five minutes because they go to all the small towns still faster than U.S. trains. Lamont. Exactly. This guy thinks only poor people live in urban areas. Uh, I, no, he thinks... No, he thinks only poor people live in rural areas. And they would all want to live in a city, but they can't because they don't have enough money or some shit. When in fact, people might want to just like live in a rural area. It's fine. There is no issue with that. America has a fuck ton of space. Part of the reason why I always say like, um, part of the reason why I always mention that you don't have to exclusively fucking build shit on top of one another. Anyway. But let's get the student loan debt relief. Here is now President Joe Washington Brandon's President student loan debt relief, uh, debt forgiveness student program. Student loans. The measure could affect up to 43 million. You are a Maribrain? I'm not a Maribrain, dumbass. Saying that public transit can only be afforded in uh, afforded to cities is ridiculous and also a Maribrain. Million Americans, including It's many. what you know. It's what you've seen. The only type of public transit you've ever seen, which is always inadequate regardless, is inside a city. So you think like, oh, you, God forbid, you can never have fucking public transit anywhere outside of that. Who have been carrying this debt for decades. However, not everyone is celebrating the president's decision. Nancy Cordes is at the White House. Nancy, good morning. Good morning, Nate. Lots of major changes for federal student loan holders. For starters, President Biden announced yesterday that he is extending the pause in federal student loan payments one last time until January. But it was his announcement on federal student loan forgiveness that, as anticipated, drew cheers from one quarter and criticism from another. It kind of lifts a lot of stress off people. On college campuses from coast to coast, Excitement spread so quickly Tuesday, some student loan websites crashed. I've racked up a lot of debt and it would be a huge financial blessing to like get rid of at least even a little bit of that. Weight was lifted off my shoulders, mostly for my parents because it stresses them out like a lot. The president's plan will forgive $10,000 worth of student debt for individuals making less than $125,000 a year or couples earning less than $250,000. People who got Pell Grants as low-income students could see their debt cut by $20,000. An entire generation is now saddled with unsustainable debt. That even if you graduate, you may not have access to the middle-class life that the college degree once provided. The move was hailed by progressives. This is Dude, I fucking despise mainstream media. Do more liberal coverage. Act out the way that you are supposed to be, okay? Republicans are going to call you liberal media propagandists regardless, CNN, you fucking idiots. Stop. Stop putting a both sides spin on this shit. Oh, some people are very mad that others are getting their loans, uh, uh, you know, relieved. I hate that. I hate it. It's like, not everybody liked it. Yeah, you know who didn't like it? All the worst villains of society didn't like it. So who cares what they think? 
Suck my cock. You know who liked it? 45 million Americans liked it. Shut the fuck up. You cannot have a policy that instantly, instantly offers relief to 45 million Americans. Okay? And then still be like, well, some Americans didn't like it. Yeah, who cares? Fuck those Americans, man. Like, what, what do you mean? It's like, it's insane. It's so insane that I didn't even understand why uh, the Biden administration hadn't done it already. Like, I was, I kept fucking screaming about it. I do hope that they use this as the money faucet, though. Every time their approval rating goes down, it's like, boom, another 10 grand. Piss me off? I'll, I'll, raise the, I'll raise the wall 10 foot higher, but this is the Brandon version of it. You know what I mean? Oh, did you get mad at me? Guess what? Another 10 grand. It's a great day yeah, and slammed yeah, by Republicans. If you owe money, as challenging as it is, you have an obligation to pay it back. It is hurting people who paid off their own debts. Even adjusting for inflation, the average cost of a four-year college education has nearly tripled since 1980. It's now about $29,000 a year. This plan is really uh, a Band-Aid, and it doesn't solve uh, the core incentive problem in American higher education. So I think it's very likely that we're going to be having the same. If, as Noam Chomsky adequately wrote about in Manufacturing Consent, the media class featured at least some people that get elevated to the fucking front of the camera that come from a working class background that hold on to working class values and the media did not operate as a, as a propaganda machine for the capital owners, you would at least have like real diversity of thought in this conversation. But you don't have that. Every single advisor that CNN or CBS or anyone brings on is going to be a Harvard graduate is going to come from a rich family, a rich background, that got a fucking $300,000 a year nepotism job immediately out of college. They have no way of comprehending this. And their friends and their immediate circles don't even fucking have it. Because they all went to Harvard! They all went to Yale! I want to know how many of these motherfuckers went to state schools, brother. That's what I want to know. I want to know how many of these motherfuckers don't have a parent with a Wikipedia page. That's why this conversation is fucking insane. That's why, if you're like, if you're looking at this from where you're standing and you're like, why the fuck? What, do they not have a single normal human that will come on and be like, hey guys, this is actually a good thing. You're being ridiculous. You know why? You know why they can't find one? Because every single person that is literally elevated to that position is a psychotic vulture that comes from that exact same background. So they don't have... They are the few Americans that literally do not have a proximity to someone who has student loan debt, which is insane. It's unimaginable to you. 45 million Americans hold on to $1.7 trillion of debt right now. Student loan debt. Okay? It is harder to find someone that either doesn't have student loan debt or doesn't know anyone with student loan debt, except for the motherfuckers at the tippy top. Okay? That is the only small circle of people that actually don't even know someone who has student loan debt. Why? Because they went to fucking Harvard with rich parents. So now, they have no way of comprehending how good this is. It's crazy. What's crazier is, again, the blind side that the media has, or rather, the, del the deliberate role that the media plays. It's wild to me. That is not a single person has been like, yo, this is crazy. Like, calm down. Like every economist that they have on is like, this is awful. This is not, this is nonsense. This is really unfair. This is really going to fucking boost inflation. It's terrible. Same discussions in five or 10 years. How much is all of this loan forgiveness going to cost? Well, the White House says it can't answer that question because they still don't know how many people are going to go ahead and claim that $10,000 or $20,000 benefit. It is important to note, Nate, that all student loans received after June 30th will not be eligible for relief. So, Nancy, if people think that they are eligible for relief, then what should they do? 
Well, there's an online form that they're going to have to fill out, but because this is all so new, that form doesn't exist yet. So for now, if people think they are eligible, they can go to the U.S. Department of Education website and sign up to get an alert when that form is ready, which the White House says should be sometime in the coming weeks. Yeah, note how Fox News writes billion depending on who's spending it and how it's spent on. Yeah, when it's uh, when it's the three hundred billion for student loan, they put the number, they put the numerical value with the zeros. When it's just a defense bill, it's like, oh yeah, it's just seven hundred seventeen billion, not a big deal. Fuck it, who cares? Yolo. They do it on purpose. It's all it's all on purpose. It plays a small role in propagandizing that this is somehow wrong, immoral, bad. Siege right now. What is it? I'm rising. Brianna Joy breaks down the frustrations of, uh, of the left to Robbie Suave when it comes to media pundits who are complaining about student debt cancellation. Yeah, I don't care about this. I don't want to watch this. Anyway. Oh my God. CNN moderate commentator cries at the void, like you said. Here's a novel way to avoid the college debt trap. Get a job while going to school. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, when she wasn't going to, when she was going to school, it was like a, a dollar. Okay? Shut the fuck up. Not a single person. Or went. Every single pundit speaking on this issue has parents with Wikipedia pages that had their parent that had them that had their parents pay for college already. Or went to college when it or went when college was like a hundred dollars. They don't even know a single person with serious debt. Insanely out of Yeah. I ran out of space. No bad faith. Just curious. How will canceling student get debt help people avoid the top of the hour ad break though? Well, let me tell you. Yeah, you got me and you got me good. So let me tell you how. At the top of the hour, there's a six-second ad break. If you no longer want to see those ads, all you need to do is subscribe, which you can do for $5 or for free. How can you do it for $5 when you don't have $5? Well, now you have $10,000 that's readily available to you that you would have normally had to pay the federal government. Okay? Now you can actually use that for something good, like a subscription. Or... You can still use an Amazon Prime account connected to your Twitch account to get one free Prime subscription a month, or you can get gifted a sub if you're lucky. Amazon, no, people are going to take you seriously, lol. Yeah, I'm, I'm obviously joking. Please don't do that. Um, he actually doesn't have parents with links on Wiki. No, I'm saying like all of these fucking media people do. They have one or the other. She's like 900 years old. So obviously she went to college. She, she fits the, she fits the bill on person who went to college when it was like a hundred dollars. So shut the fuck up. 
Anyway, here's the one minute ad break now. I already saw. Hello, I already saw the White House thread. Stop linking it. I already saw it. We already looked through it. God damn, y'all are fucking crazy, man. Well, this is out of touch in so many ways. Nursing home workers have student loan debt. A lot of truck drivers do too. Plus, ask truck drivers about predatory lending programs. They're familiar. Also, railroad workers can make 100K. That's the union difference. Some people pretend to care about workers only for the sake of dividing them. Same as a boss who says he supports unions in mines, but you, his warehouse fast food white collar employee, don't need one. Anyway, glad we all apparently support rail workers now that they, uh, now given they may strike. Yeah, I know this is real. We saw it. Um, we're going to talk about it. Don't worry. Um, okay. Hold on. Get back to the student loan conversation. Nancy, thank you. Here's the five going fucking brazy on the taxpayer funded handout did it president biden giving the handout of a century canceling ten thousand dollars worth of student debt for those making less than one hundred and twenty five thousand a year and erasing up to twenty thousand for some low income borrowers but it's not free money the entire plan coming with a price tag of around three hundred billion dollars and that's just a low estimate and taxpayers like you and me we will foot the bill here's the president but i believe my plan is responsible and fair I find it interesting how some of my Republican friends who voted for those tax cuts and others think uh, that we shouldn't be helping these folks. The outrage over helping working people with student, with student loans, I think, is just simply wrong, dead wrong. Is this unfair to people who paid their student loans or chose not to take out loans? Is it fair to people who, in fact, uh, do not own the multi-billion dollar businesses that see why these guys get them all the tax breaks? Is that fair? What do you think? What about people who pay their loans, though, struggle to pay their loans, and now others don't have to? Bro, I'm not kidding. If you're so bent, take back the PPP from every single person. I know I said this yesterday. But put up a fucking bill that takes back the loan forgiveness off of every fucking mega corporation, every fucking CEO, every consultant, every executive, every lobbyist that chirped about the student loan forgiveness. Turn around and say, okay, you're going to pay for it then. Directly out of your pocket. You love paying for your debts. I don't get it. Just do that. There's about a $1 trillion fucking hole in the budget there. Take it back from the executive purses. Do it. It's not fair. They're right. It's not fair. This would be fair. Let's do that. Take it from Marjorie Taylor Greene, who got $200,000 from the federal government in the form of a PPP loan that was forgiven. I don't get it. If you want to fucking pay, uh, uh, yeah, if you want to pay your debts, you can. Why don't they do this? Why don't they just say, hey, if you're going to talk out of pocket, I will come for your pocket. I will do it. I will come with all the guns. I will put a lien. I will make you foreclose your home. I'll put a lien on all your assets. I'll seize them. And I'll fucking liquidate them with the might of a thousand workers, okay? For the million workers. Do it. You want to pay your loans? Pay your fucking PPP loans, you stupid bitch. Do it. 
The costly cancellation of debt sure to unleash a tidal wave of anger from Americans who already paid off their loans and those who never went to college in the first place. But Senator Elizabeth Warren claims this will help everyone. Because of student loan debt, there are many people who don't move out of their mama's basement, who can't save up money to buy a home, uh, who don't start small businesses, who don't start a family. You relieve the debt burden some for those people, and we have more economic activity. In other words, canceling student loan debt is good for the people whose debt is canceled, but it is also good for our economy and the rest of America. Peter Ducey bluntly asking the White House this question. The people that already paid their student loans, right. they don't get anything out of this deal. Right. That's right. Okay. <laughs> and other Democrats aren't so sure about this plan. Uh, former, uh, Obama's former economic advisor, Jason Furman, he's slamming it. I'm telling you, everyone... Everyone crying about student loan debt relief must be forced to pay back their PPP loans with interest. Watch how quickly they become debt abolitionists. saying this, pouring roughly half a trillion dollars of gasoline on the inflationary fire that is already burning. Just say Biden, unfortunately, wasn't president when they were in debt. I know it's a lib take, but at least it's an own. Wait, what do you mean? Debt cancellation happened now under Biden's watch. All those institutions that they supposedly set up to make sure that these uh, companies that got PPP loans were actually going to make sure that they maintain their payroll. They didn't do that. That never happened. is reckless, doing it while going well beyond one campaign promise of $10,000 of student loan relief and breaking another, all proposals paid for, is even worse. I, I don't know if we could be any more surprised or shocked, except for we kind of saw this was coming, Jesse, because the president has been kicking this can down the road for several months. Not only that, but they say that if you have a student loan, you are still not going to have to pay for it until the end of the year when that will end, and that's because of a COVID emergency. I just want to congratulate all the rich whites with graduate degrees who live on the coast and are making six figures. You really... Yeah. Famously, no veteran, no nurse, no teacher. Bro, you're a rich white who lives on, who lives on the coast. This is what I mean. Like, they're making it seem like they are making it seem like 45 million Americans don't currently carry some level of student loan debt. This is an issue that impacts almost every American household, my man. The only households that it doesn't impact is you. You get it? That's it. are the forgotten men and women of this country and you finally now have a president that feels your pain you know spending most of your 20s in school and now finally making close to one hundred and twenty five thousand dollars Woo, man i mean what would they do without joe biden to liz warren's point if this is a historic economy that's we've never seen before why are people even living in their basement saddled with student debt who can't start a business? It doesn't make any sense. You cannot raid the Treasury and then cut checks to your favorite voters. Why not? Where did Biden get the power as the president to spend half a trillion dollars? Right. That's Congress's job. He can't steal Nancy's purse and then just start bribing people before an election. That's an abuse of power. And it's unconstitutional. Nancy even said it was unconstitutional.
Fuck me. Yeah, you can. And he did. Yeah, cry about institutions. Oh, no, the Constitution. I wiped my ass. Trump did it with the COVID loans before an election. Yeah, and that was good. I said it was good. I said it was necessary. Fuck you. That's, that's, the only, that's the only counter I have to that. He can, and he fucking did, and now you're crying about it while still trying to maintain a uh, right-wing populist narrative. But you can't really maintain that when you realize quickly that Republicans have student loan debt too, dumbass. 45 million Americans, dumbass. This is reverse class warfare. It's like, I don't know, you rob the poor to pay the rich. You're going to get a plumber's family to pay off the loan of a, 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 a graduate school family that's making a quarter million dollars a year. Why should I have to pay or anybody have to pay for my neighbor's graduate degree? I mean, you know, you're, you're looking across the street, you see your neighbor's daughter, she just backed into your mail. Again. The plumber has a kid with student loan debt. You want to know why? Because despite depending on whether he's involved in a union or not, or even owning his own plumbing business, he's still a small business owner and therefore can't pay for the skyrocketing college education for his children. A plumber doesn't want his child to go into plumbing. A plumber wants his child to get a graduate degree. So what is he going to do? He's going to take on student loan debt. Jesse Waters cannot comprehend it. You know why? Because he never had to think about these things. That's the point. Anyone making the argument that like, you know, plumbers don't have fucking children that are going to college or plumbers themselves might have fucking um, educational costs that they, they, they tried to uh, get covered are delusional. They're living in a fucking universe that is uh, beyond the one that we live in. I think the, the, I think the thing driving this type of commentary is the fact that people don't qualify it and... They are throwing a tantrum as a part of that. Progressives warned the White House of this reaction with means testing it. Yeah, that's another part of the process, which is why, what do I always say? H. Bizzle's back. Surprising that H. Bizzle, everyone's favorite DNC uh, hack, uh, DNC flack, uh, is in the chat back again and not watching like Buddha play Grand Theft Auto roleplay. And instead is in here uh, advocating for the DNC's, uh, he's the only motherfucker who's able to, who's legally allowed in this community to advocate for the DNC because he has the pay stubs to prove it. Um, but he's right. That's why I always say universal programs up front and then means testing if you want to on the tax side, on the back end. Box. She's always been an idiot, and now you have to pay for her to get a, a, an advanced degree in Estonian poetry. I mean, that it doesn't make any sense at all. And you think the Democrats are going to stop at ten grand? They're not stopping at ten grand. Next Woo! Democrat's going to go twenty-five. Next is going to go fifty. It's Woo! never going to stop. Tell me more. Tell me more. And then people are just going to keep borrowing and keep going into these schools because that's what this is about. This is about hooking more students into these universities where they get indoctrinated by the left. That's what this is really about. Now he says the tax cuts. Okay, this is a lot different than tax cuts. Everybody gets a tax cut. Everybody that pays taxes gets a tax cut when the taxes get cut. That's not true. That's not true. Trump made permanent tax cuts for the top tax bracket. And all the tax cuts that he had made for lower brackets expired. So no. Permanent tax cuts only come for the wealthy. But you will never hear these dishonest propagandists openly admitting that. Remember that. Tax cuts for corporations and the top, top fucking uh, tax bracket were permanent. Anything below that was, uh, was, was adjusted year over year, going back to that exact same rate it was. Did you know that? Did you motherfuckers know that? Probably not. I talked about it a lot when it was happening.
It's not like Donald Trump cut taxes for males in the swing states of Ohio and Florida and North Carolina three months before the midterms. That's not what he did. Right. Everybody got an across-the-board tax cut. He's not transferring wealth to pay off people's loans. The other thing that kills me is that uh, just last... 86% of the tax benefit went to the 86% of the tax cuts went to the top tax bracket. For the record. So no, Donald Trump did do it for his main constituency, just the mega wealthy. So remember, when when you talk about Donald Trump's tax cuts, always bring that up. Tax cuts for the wealthy were permanent. Tax cuts for the working poor were not. They are supposed to sunset by the time the next election rolls around. Last week, the president, to much fanfare, signed the Inflation Reduction Act, in which they said there would be all of this deficit savings. Well, with this on the low end, it wipes out all of the deficit savings that they had there. And Tom Cotton uh, cottoned onto this. Watch here. Mm. Uh, of all the dumb things Joe Biden has done, this may be the dumbest yet. I, I know it's stiff competition, but just think about how unfair this is for all the Americans who are harmed by this, who are now on the hook for hundreds of billions of dollars of other people's loans. These are people who took out loans. They did so willingly. They did so freely. They need to pay off their loans, just like every other American. Judge, can we ask you, is it constitutional? Will this eventually, I, I'm assuming that this is going to end up in the courts? Yeah, I don't think there's any question other than uh, it's going to end up in the court. Someone is going to sue. Look, the whole idea, the whole... I'm not even kidding. I think they will assassinate Supreme Court justices if they overturn this. Like, the abortion issue is one thing, but the abortion issue and then this on top of it would literally be the fucking tilting moment. If the No, not in a video game. I'm not saying they should do it. I'm just saying, like, I'm speculating that on top of the fucking Roe v. Wade decision if the supreme court was like nah actually 300 billion dollars in debt you need to restore it and they literally turned around and fucking uh did that for 45 million americans someone's gonna someone would literally just be like okay it's over it's done some motherfucker who was already like i was saddled with that i was gonna kill myself would literally go out and do some insane shit Think about that. Can you imagine being like, hey, I know your I know your debt for ten thousand dollars was just relief, but nine fucking psychos in bathrobes decided that that's not the case. I know H Bizzle, we already went through the White House uh, bodying everyone who's attacking. No shot, dude. Maybe just cancel yourself again. I'm not saying it's appropriate or good. It's also constitutional. But we know the Supreme Court doesn't really give a shit about that. But if they think that that shit wouldn't happen, they're delusional. Straight up. Brother, you have to remember, 45 million Americans... That's a dude serving you food. That's a dude driving to your house in a fucking in, in a Uber delivery car. That's the dude cleaning the toilets. That's your that's the maid that comes to your house. These are people that have student loan debt. You fucking add 10k in in financial burden back onto them. Statistically speaking, one of them's going to pop off on you. It would turn into the IRA real quick. And I'm not talking about the Inflation Reduction Act, okay? They'd have to be lucky every day, but the working class would only have to be lucky once. Yeah, the guy replacing your fucking car brakes when you take your car into the fucking uh, shop. That guy's got student loan debt. You don't want to fuck with that. That's insane to me. Huh. 
I don't like any overspending on either side. Man, shut the fuck up. You are really a bonehead, dude. I don't like any overspending on either side. What do you mean overspending on either side? The only two sides of this argument are the working class and capital owners. And usually when the government is overspending, they're overspending on the capital owners. So shut the fuck up. Yeah, the guy that fills your prescriptions at the pharmacy has student loan debt. Go ahead, fuck with all of them with the Supreme Court. See what happens. It's not appropriate, of course. But you're out of your fucking mind if they would not genuinely see the repercussions of that. That's crazy. Imagine Congress wanting to not spend as much money as possible. I swear they just start making up numbers. Yeah, there's so many people you never interact with. Drivers, technicians, administrative jobs, IT people, plumbers. Just so many. So many part of your life. So many part of your life. There's at least someone with one degree uh, 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 of, of personal relationship uh, with, with someone who has student loan debt or has student loan debt. 45 million Americans. You're fucking with their paper, dude. You're fucking with their, with their wallet. You know what I mean? President Biden condemns MAGA at DNC fundraiser. What, if we're see what we're seeing now is the beginning of the death knell of an extreme MAGA philosophy. It's not just Trump. It's the entire philosophy that underpins the I'm going to say something. It's like semi-fascism. Well, the term is proto-fascism, but it doesn't matter. It is fascism. I mean, it, it literally is. Ben Shapiro clap back at the White House. So it's now the White House position that if the government forces you to shut down your business and provide you with compensation to keep people employed, that's the same thing as you failing to pay the college loans you voluntarily undertook, geniuses. I don't know if you know this, but those were also loans. That were forgiven. Wait, what the fuck am I doing? Were? How, how dumb of me. All right. He said the White House is partisan. Yeah, no shit, dumbass. That's why you, there's a fucking election. I love when he's like, I can't believe the White House is being partisan on this. It's like, wait, what do you mean? First of all, they're not being partisan, you fucking idiot. There are Republicans with college loans, okay? But also, obviously the what, Hassan, which gym do you go to? The one where I fuck your mom in. Um, I love when people say, oh my God, I can't believe the White House is partisan. It's like, yeah, why is there an election for the White House to be partisan, you fucking dumbass? Like...
That's different. All right, okay. Do you think this will have a positive impact on the elections? Yes. I found you on TikTok. Love your content. Thank you. This insane overreaction by capitalists is just really a mask off moment. It's going to backfire because they legit don't know that tons of lower middle class young Republican voters have college debt. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I think there's two. There are two operating principles here at play. On the one hand, you have the financial interest of like regular old American citizens and it is absolutely in their financial interest to get this kind of debt relief. But then you also have an incredibly powerful force. That force being that Americans are incredibly cucked and are, find themselves to be not the exhausted, exploited proletariat, but temporarily embarrassed billionaires. So depending on how fucking cucked those dumbass Americans are and depending on how, um, I don't know, personally uh, delusional they are about their own financial, their dire financial circumstances, you could actually see a lot of people be like, you know what? This was fucked up. Americans also have a lot of resentment for other Americans. They're like hyper individualistic. They don't have a collective consciousness. So we'll see. I mean, you see Republicans behave in, in really inconsistent ways. They have tremendous amounts of cognitive dissonance. So do Democrats. So who knows how much cognitive dissonance they have on this particular matter even. I mean, you see it with professional Republicans right now. You see it with professional Republicans. That's why they can go on TV and be like, yeah, that's really fucked up. And they're trying to, uh, they're trying to, to turn this into a culture war thing. That's why they're saying truck drivers are paying a loan for someone who got a PhD in gender studies. That's not the broad majority of people that got fucking uh, student loans, man. So I don't think this will work. I don't think this is an effective propaganda. Also, this fucking piece of shit, cocksucking motherfucking crook also got his uh, student loan debt uh, paid for, by the way, by Brandon. Literally $10,000 worth. So just remember that. Uh, it's very unfair, you know, to have a truck driver have to pay back a loan for somebody that got like a PhD in gender studies. That's not fair. That's not right. And so, um, and then you also just have the fact like, if you're going to talk about debt, then you should look at, okay, who has benefited the most from all this exorbitant debt that's been taken out over the last generation. It's the universities. They have bloated administrative budgets. This part is right. Although in Florida. This part is right. Do something about it, pussy. This part is right. This part is correct. Do something about it. Shut the fuck up. Do something about it. Nut up or shut up. Come on. The only time this demon is motivated to do anything is if he thinks he can get a fucking Fox and Five uh, uh, coverage news cycle out of it. Be the hero. Be a hero. Be a fucking hero. Do something about it. Uh, since I've been governor, no tuition increases at our state universities. We haven't allowed that. Because all it does, all it does is they plow it in and they will, they will expand like the DEI office or something else like that. And it has no real impact on the quality of the education when they're raising the tuition. 
it just creates more administrative bloat. And that's been going on. And the colleges and universities have gotten a free ride at this. So, you know, my view is, is you know, if you're going to do some type of student loan, you know, uh, relief, it's not really relief because people are still paying for it. But the people that should pay for it are not the American taxpayers. It should be the university. Uh, well, good thing American taxpayers are not paying for it. Also, truck drivers have student loan debt. Some of them do. Some of them have children with student loan debt. Some of them are about to have college-aged children that will need to take on student loans. So shut the fuck up. Again, shut the fuck up. Shut your stupid fucking mouth. Also, this is debt that the federal government has taken on. It's, it's adding to the deficit, but it's not actually like uh, you're not paying for it with higher taxes unless the government takes action to also uh, decrease the deficit, which it did already. So don't worry about it. What is this? You know I'm right. Guy on the left is you if you stayed in Florida. This guy? No. City should be responsible uh, for that. If they're producing people, they went deep into debt and their degree is not worth anything and they're not able to make enough money to pay it back, uh, well, then that's on them. And they've had an incentive to get more and more loans taken out. Yeah, this is a compact Thumbelina. Look at that. I love female cops. Because they have the exact same, like, physical demeanor characteristics of a male cop, which is incredibly thumb-like. Like, this is literally a sack of potatoes, dude. Look at this. I love that. They're so, they're built like a fucking Mack truck. They're so dense. And then put it in their pocket. So we should look at these universities. But what Biden is doing... Uh, it's going to cause more inflation, which is what you just... Ah, it's going to cause more inflation. No, it's not. Shut the fuck up. had no, one not. of Obama's economists come out and say... I hate that Jason Furman demon came out and said it. Now every Republican is fucking running with that. Obama's own economist said it. Yeah, fuck that guy. Oh, now you care about Obama's economist. Okay, got it. Hey, this is the worst time to do this. It's going to fuel inflation. This is not good policy. Obviously, the fairness and all that uh, is very important, uh, but it's not a good uh, fiscal or monetary policy. Um, and so, so you see that. But then you also have the fact that they're doing that with zero reform to the universities and the loans and everything that's happened that's clearly way, way out of whack. Uh, so and then... You know, I think this is still important. Some people uh, uh, may not care as much. He does not have the constitutional authority. That's not true. That's literally not true. So you see that. But then you also have the fact that they're doing that with zero reform to the universities. And this part is true. The only part about this that is true is that college, college education is far too expensive. And it has gotten completely out of control. Go ahead. Cut a video of every single Republican saying it and, and go f cut a video of every single Republican that has criticized this fucking action and say, hey, we're putting forward a new package that is going to implement price checks on, on textbooks and college education. It is incredibly high and we need to lower those, especially for public universities. We're going to make it taxpayer funded and we're going to make it cheaper. Go ahead. Do it. That's policy. Yeah. These guys never want to do that. These guys just want to fucking complain. They're using one adequate complaint against college campuses and, and, and skyrocketing tuition to, to hit over the head of like one Band-Aid measure that the Biden administration accidentally fucking landed on. I hate that. But what do you expect from Ron DeSantis' fucking own spokesperson who blocked me, by the way? Matt Walsh says, if you support student loan forgiveness, it is because you personally benefit. Please just admit your support is selfish and you don't mind taking it from other people if it helps you. At least be honest and stop pretending that you have principled reasons for your stance. Okay, I'm going to fucking own him.
Poker rich person for the working class? Yeah, well, guess what, bitch? It works in this situation. These motherfuckers worship the altar of, of capitalism. They worship the altar of money, okay? So what's up? I got more of it than Matt Walsh does. Suck me, Matt Walsh. Suck me and, and fuck me, okay? I pay my own student loans and my brothers, and I think this is awesome for everyone else. Republicans regularly project their spiteful, selfish worldview as though it's policy. I was in the dumbass Air Force and the VA paid for all my debt, and I 100% support free college. All the way to PhD if people want it. Matt Walsh can suck me when he's done with you. Yeah, he should. Matt Walsh should suck all of us. By the way, this is Christina Pushaw who fucking blocked me, coward. No rich person has ever down, turned down free money. Exactly. What do I, I say this all the time. And it actually makes me happy that other people are finally paying attention to that. Rich people not only never say no to free money, but they literally will tailor policy. They get subsidies. They get tax cuts. If they don't get it, they fucking cry foul. They write legislation to make sure that they get it. Only poor people are like, oh, should I get this? I don't know. What? Okay, bro. Chill. What? Well, how about we help the homeless or people who are below the poverty line? You live in LA. Leave your rich, privileged neighborhood and look around. There's homeless everywhere. Motherfucker, I live in West Hollywood. There's literally more homeless people here than your bumfuck, dumbass neighborhood where no one wants to live, including homeless people. Shut the fuck up. Who do you think you're talking to, you fucking idiot? I also, one million percent, am an advocate for public housing. So what the fuck are you talking about? You dumb bitch trying to come in here and be like, uh-huh, you're so privileged. Yeah, I know. Guess what? I'm sorry that no one wants to live in your shithole or Kansas town. Okay? Even the homeless people don't want to live there. Dummy. Speaking of homeless people, though, here's a good policy. Not Ron DeSantis. Fuck that. Uh, also, not this, not this, not this. Here, let's take a look at what California voters will vote on in 2024. In Los Angeles County, more than 60,000 people are homeless on the average night. And more than... Yo, if you actually want one of those shirts, they're the Florida Toll Collector's uniform, actually. And I have a few in XXX, Lamau. Wait, why? Bro, everybody crying about how it's not fair is just jealous that they didn't get money, by the way. Wait, what? This guy said, I think Hassan caught Biden's dementia. I'll be back election time to remind you how stupid this take is and how you help you how you help destroy our party. What do you mean our party? I'm not a part of the party, okay? Don't call me a fucking Democrat. Fuck the Democratic Party. Motherfucker said our party. I'm liberal and just lost all respect for Brandon. Why do Democrats have to keep stooping lower than Republicans? This is sad. Bro, this is what happens when you go on r slash neoliberalism, okay? Too much. I can already read. I'm giving you an adequate read on this guy, okay? The election was rigged for Trump by the Russians and Biden rigged his election? Oh, never mind. This guy is just crazy. Oh, never mind. He's just all over. Don't you think student loan forgiveness is selfish when there are so many people in the U.S. that can't afford to stay alive? Yeah, no, this guy's out of his mind. He's like, he might be... I think he's just the regular old American voter. And by that, I mean a schizo poster.